Welcome back, everybody. So, my internet came back. But, yeah, I decided to try to take a brief look at the skyscraper, and I don't want to miss that right now. Luigi, once you hear the news about the Dark Moon piece? Sure. Well, the periscope was having a heck of a time trying to pinpoint its location. But then it hit me. I can analyze the dark root pieces we already have to improve the precision. Actually, I was right. And after a little tinkering, the periscope produced better results. Remember that gigantic tree? The dark moon piece seems to be somewhere up there. So, we know roughly where it is, but the hard part is getting there. And it always... You'll need to cross the newly raised bridge and explore the interior of the hollow tree to find a way up. Got all that? Off you go! Thanks, Professor. But Luigi landed on his feet. Here's the important part, you know. So, yeah, there's a bit of wiring that can be done. But I'm not gonna worry about that now. We need to go this way. That was kind of rude of them. It ain't the first time that's happened, this adventure. Grimini! Not again! That pinwheel gate won't open without its veins! Did you see where those skinny ghosts went? Never mind, I'll use the periscope to find them. Hold on a sec. Got him! Check your map! So, yeah. They won't even rotate. So, yeah. We had to find all five of them. And from those blue ghosts, no less. Well, three of them were in there. Yeah, that time I remember to use the dark light immediately. This might take a while. Yeah, I can't do anything in here. Uh, money thing. So let's see what the upgrade looks like. Come on, really? This is annoying. Oh, come on! Yeah. <sighs> 
Yeah, with these greens, you just need the one. I'm thinking with these blue ones as well. Well, one down, four to go. For some reason, I thought that wall was the door. There's one rookie looking lawnmower. Give me that coin. Thank you. Give me that thing, please. Thank you. So where else? I need to go. Well, the garden somehow. And the thirsty forest. Okay. So, that's a boo up there. <coughs> Sorry about that. I ain't getting to that one more again. I got the feeling it might take me a while to get all these veins, so... Um... Yeah. I was about to start telling the story. Yeah, I alluded a couple episodes ago that I had a story related to this game. And that's a fake door. Well, it's, it's nothing, like, uh, exciting. Just something weird and, you know, weird. Just something funny. So, years ago, like, as in when this game was initially coming out on the 3DS, I actually, uh, bought, or, well, I, well, I, well, I didn't buy it initially. What it happened was, I went to a department store, I, I, sort of like a Walmart, I guess you could call it, and, I, well, I went there to uh, get some supplies, like, school supplies, you know, I was taking a class. So, I decided, that's, that's out of curiosity to take the video game section, you know, and, oh, hello, Golden Bone. And funny enough, I saw Luigi's Dark or Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon just on on the aisle for sale. Like, pick up the game and uh, yeah, pick up the game and go buy it, you know. So I thought, oh sweet, I could play Luigi's Mansion. Awesome. So I took everything I was going to buy, went and went to the the uh, cashier, you know. 
I'm guessing you're scanning everything in. And they get to... They get to... We're just messing with scan it in. And it's registering as an error. They try multiple times before they say, Hey, sorry to do this, sir, but I need to call in some assistance. So they did. I don't need to be here anymore. So, their partner comes over, they take a look at things, they look at me and say, Oh, uh, sorry to do this to you, sir, but we can't sell you this game yet. I asked why not, and they said, Well, this game doesn't come out for another week. So, oh, this is what I had to do. So they told me, we can't say this because, uh, because this game isn't supposed to be on the shelf for another week. Someone put this game out on the shelf way too early. So I thought, no problem. I'll just wait, I'll just wait a week before, uh, until the game, uh, actually comes out. So yeah, I only got to play this game a week early. Guess someone goofed up. I didn't get mad at anyone. Just a simple mistake, you know? Those things do happen. Yeah, that's my story. Nothing special. I can't do anything with that, it seems. Hey, Luigi, be careful with that. That's a pixelator screen. An early prototype of my teleportation device. With my new pixelator, I can bring you back from just about anywhere in this valley. Well, as long as I can locate you, of course. Yep, rather genius, if I do say so myself. Well, no need to mess with that, then. Though, is there any reason to come over here into the sewer, then? Oh. And my phone went off. Okay. Am I Boolean? True or false? That went really quick. Boolean logic indeed. I think. Fantastic! I'm glad you found and captured that hooligan. They're very elusive, only coming out when their hiding spot has been found. They may all look the same, but each has its own personality. Try to capture them all. Otherwise they might regroup and their power grows when they gather in large numbers. I'm sure Luigi knows all about that. From the, from the first adventure. Those are fake bars. The old rubber bar gag. I'm not sure if I ever knew about that. Anyway, this is a coffin. Well, I don't think there's anything in here. Oh well. Moving on. What about this? Nothing. Moving on. So I need to go to 
Uh, I need to go to the higher floors. Not sure why I've got this here. Wait, what's this? Nothing I can deal with right now. Well, let's get you onwards. Find, find the other two. Well, uh... Actually, I might be able to do something over here. Maybe. Look at stairs. Here's where that bed's at now. Never did point that out. Unless I have to go around, now that I think about it. the wire drop. Okay. Alright, so I don't know how... Oh, next button. <laughs> Got me a gem! Hang on. Okay, I get it. I bought this game on the 3DS, as I said. I don't fully remember everything. That was one massive vine. Time to find the blue thing. Found him. I think you're kindly forgiving me a vein. Either way, what does this do? Oh, I see. I'm gonna call that worth it. Alrighty, moving on. Wait a minute, what's behind this poster? Money! I'm sure it'll come in handy. Cool health. Alrighty, so what's in this room? Conservatory. Am 
Might as well get both of these in one go. Well, that wasn't bad. So, what do you have to say, Professor? Good job, Luigi! That was the last vein for the pinwheel gate. I'll bring it back here so we can figure out how to reinstall them. Ow. Sounds good. Oh, yes. oh, oh. I did it. My guess is you... make... if you build something. Sorry, Paul. I don't know. Not fully. Two stars! And a boo. And a gem. <laughs> yeah, Luigi will get the hang of it. Good job scaring those ghosts out of their hiding spots, young fella. Thanks. So we got a gem. And a gem. And a heavier spectral map. I guess. And a boo! And money! We'd be in a real pickle if we lost those pinwheel veins. I'm sure I have something in my toolbox that we can use to put them back in place. I'll tell you, you really have a knack for stirring up trouble, youngster. You haven't even reached a hollow tree. The ghosts are already giving you a hard time. Stay strong, my boy. We'll have that dark moon back in the sky before you know it. Thanks, Professor. Well, uh... I got time. Alright, Luigi. Got those pinwheel planes with you? Why did I hold on to those anyways? Ah, take this wrench and use it to attach the pinwheel veins back to the gates. I guess I was wrong. Remember, let you loosey righty tidy. Yeah, that's usually the case. Now, once you open the gate, enter the hollow tree and look for a way up. Okay. I get the feeling that the dark moon piece is somewhere near the top. Okay, I'll be comfortably monitoring your progress from here. You know, as usual. Anywho, good luck, kiddo. Thank you. And some of the plants have grown. Some of the plants have unfortunately grown. Well, I guess the plant wiring mechanic really does come into play here. I don't know why that wasn't firing. Oh well. Well, I still got some money. I was, I was trying to use motion controls to look up and down. Not gonna work, I suppose. Well, this will.
Well, that's a shame. You two, how about you going to party inside the vacuum? Yeah, I suck worse things up with a vacuum. Yes, I am talking about the Splatoon 3 video that I linked in the description. Moving on. Huh? Oh. Well, I can't say I was expecting... Well, the first time I was playing this, I can't say I was expecting to find a... Uh, in, the, in its own right down here. At the same time, I forgot this was here, so... Yeah. I played a lot of games in my time, you know? I think I hit the A button several times there. I was thinking that there's an obvious pattern to this, but no. So more webs. That's not neat. Well, Hello. what do you have to say, man? Criminy, where did that creepy looking door come from? Uh, wherever doors hang out? That's the only way to, up to the treetop. Give me just a sec here. Bingo, I found something in a haunted tower's records. There's a special key that opens that door, but it's hidden in the crypt. I hope you're not scared of graveyards, Luigi. It's not like they're full of vengeful spirits or anything. <laughs> well, guess what? They are. I would be way too nervous to try that for myself. Yeah, I had to keep pulling the X button. Real quick. Also, real quick. Because I might as well, you know. Oh, green diamond. Oh, into the crypt.
Okay, into the tree root, I guess. I see, I see. Big wall! Oh, graveyard. Well, this is inviting. That's not ominous at all. Hey, a, a portrait of a toad. What are you doing here, man? Wait. Yeah. What are you doing here? I'm free! I'm not doing a toad voice. Wait, Luigi? What are you doing here? Uh, it doesn't matter. You're my hero! Aw, oh, thanks, toad. Ciao. Come on. I kind of like Toad's reaction here. Yellow. No sign of the special key. Those ghosts are really starting to ruffle my fifth. Hmm. Rimini! Is that one of my Toad assistants? How did he get trapped inside that painting? I sent him to look after the place. No wonder why it's such a mess. We better get him back, get him back to the bunker. You might know where the whereabouts of the special key we're looking for. But I can't pixelate both of you out of there. Let me think. I know. The image of the gardener's lab. There's a pixelator screen there. It's an old prototype, but it should do the trick. Ciao. Sorry, Toad. <laughs> he looks all too happy like that. Oops, sorry, Toad. I'm here, I am. Come on. I actually have a, a bit of a story related to Toad's reaction to the uh, the dual scream. As I take care of this me boss, of course. I kind of needed the health. Yeah, yeah, it looks like you have to pay attention to what the uh, three uh, gardening sisters are doing.
All right, one down, two to go. Oh, wrong button. Don't worry, Ted, I'm almost done. So naturally, you're the third ghost I try and crack him up. Okay, this particular ghost should be uh, relatively straightforward. No one to interrupt and all. There we go. Oh, hello. Poor Toe's still running around. <laughs> As I live and breathe! Those are the ghosts of the, of the three sisters. They're regular mm. paranormal celebrities. Yep, the periscope was going bonkers for a minute there. But it's back to normal now. The sisters are normally very polite ghosts. It's disturbing to see them act so... rude. Good job capturing them. Alright. Let's go. Sorry. Alright, so... What do I do here? Hey, get over here! All right, found the ghost that barfs money. Not exactly the most convenient of beasts, but okay. Oh, I see. Huh. I recognize that. Actually, that's not the way I need to go. To Toad's reaction earlier, uh, to, uh, the, uh, dual screen, uh, I actually have, uh, co-workers who had, uh, funny reactions to some of my, uh, cell phone's ringtones. I like to use Navi as my text notification. You know, Navi from Ocarina of Time? Purely because her voice is really annoying. No one in their right mind would want Navi to tell you to listen. That makes her the perfect ringtone! In my mind. Yeah, I've gotten some interesting reactions. Anyway. Sorry, Toad. Alright, this episode's gone on a bit of a long time. Oh. Hello. Well done, my boy. See? That graveyard wasn't so bad, was it? Mm. Nice for capturing the three sisters and leading my toad sister to safety. Mm -hmm. He just popped out of the screen over here. Now it's your turn, kiddo. Ciao. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. I did it. So I anticipate it's going to take uh, two days of your time. For the toad to like uh, uh, give the professor the answer he's looking for. But hey, two stars. Good work up there, Luigi. So I, re I really hoped we'd find that special key inside the crypt. On the bright side, you didn't come back totally empty-handed. Let's have a look at those ghosts. Oh, he dead. World's most caring professor. Anyway, Jim, and a new type of ghost. 
and another new type, and a third new type, and a fourth new type, and treasure. I'm not gonna look at my collection just yet. It's too bad we have to keep the three sisters down in the vault, but it's for their own safety. Once we re restore the Dark Moon, maybe they'll be willing to join me for a steaming cup of ghost tea. What? Why are you looking, looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? Anywho, I feel bad for that toad fellow. Being trapped inside that painting can't have been fun. He seems to be having trouble remembering what happened. No, for having such a big head, he really doesn't have much rattling around in there. Anywho, his rescue wasn't a complete waste of time. For one, we rescued a toad. He brought back a little snapshot taken by my tri-dimensional security camera. Give me a couple minutes to unscramble the image. So that's what I'll be doing at the start of the next episode. My name is Rungan6, and I thank you for your time.